It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm really excited about this beer. It's by Top Out Brewery, and it's their first Ascents Doppel IPA, brewed with Equinox and Simcoe. So this is a 9.2% ABV beer. I'm just coming to the side here. I'm looking in my window to make sure I'm recording this review. Um, I just finished a normal beer review, nine minute beer review, only to realize that I pressed the photo button and I took a photo on the video. So I just finished reviewing this amazing beer from Polly's Bruco, black, the best black IPA I've reviewed in at least 10 years, <coughs> only to find I didn't record it. So if you see me glancing to the side every now and again, it's to, sh it's to check this blooming video recording. Right, Doppel IPA. Doppel means double, German, hopefully German style kind of mix with American style beer. 440 milliliter can. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. It was really important, let me get this up quickly. It was really important I, could, I gave that can a quick swirl round um, because I knew there was gonna be some kind of, knowing Top Out Brewery, knowing the quality of their beer, I knew this beer was gonna be slightly unfiltered. Uh, the guys at Top Out Brewery, they know that most of the flavor is in the bottom of the can. It's, it's just sediment, it's just gravity. All the wonderful stuff. Makes its way to the bottom of the can. Um, some brewers, large brewers, they like their beers to be pin drop, kind of bright. But the trouble with that is all of the great tasting stuff in the beer has to go down the drain. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Um, top out now. Based in Edinburgh in the UK, we've got a one finger white head on this beer. It's looking wonderful. Little bits of micro sediment rolling around in the bottom of the glass. Hazy, light amber coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. Oh, wow. Oh, it's really spicy and peppery, but it's got a really good hop character as well coming through. It's got that kind of sticky jam jar pot appeal to it, like a mixed fruit, orange, and a marmalade type jam where you take the pot off and there's a little bit of stickiness on the top of the pot there, the pot lid. Oh, it smells good. It's really good. So really quite jammy, really quite marmalade lemony. Spicy, peppery. It smells incredible. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I know the brewers at Top Out, some of them, or a couple of them, they have like a, a German heritage there. There's a couple of people at the brewery that have lived in Germany for a long time. I think somebody might be from Germany. So with the word Doppel in there, the German word for double, IPA, I'm just looking for the, the German qualities in the beer. And I'm finding them in the malt. It's that 
big malt bill that the Germans like in their beer, which I love in my beer. So this is quite a balanced IPA. It's balanced between all of the great quality malts in the beer and the lovely hop character on the back end. It's beautiful. It's really good. It's got a real rasping bitterness on the back end. It took me a while to get there because there's so much other stuff going on. I could have started off by talking about the, the sweetness in the beer, the amount of kind of sweetness it is, and, and, and talk about the, the complex malts, which I will talk about in a minute. But I want to talk about the dominant flavour in the beer, the dominant feeling, if you like, in the beer, and that is definitely bitterness. It's definitely kind of right over there. American kind of West Coast style bitterness coming through. It's my bag. It's definitely my bag. I definitely like that. That big rasping bitterness kind of reminds me of 2010 when I first started getting into these double IPAs and thinking, wow, my goodness me, that's really bitter. It's happening right now, right, you know, 10 years later, 12, 12 years later, 2010 was 12 years ago. The channel's 12 years old this month, unbelievably so. This great lace, and you can see where I've been sipping the beer. You've got like it, it's clear around here, but where I've been kind of tilting the beer towards my mouth, you can see the lacing on the glass. It's it's carried on without rolling the beer around too much in the glass. It's carried on to have that lovely, good quality head on the beer. Now I'm going to roll it round, and it's probably going to recreate a nice head on the beer. Look at that! Isn't that wonderful? I want to talk about the complex malts in this beer now. And that's the balance between that kind of big rasping bitterness on the back end, those kind of marmalade, jam, grapefruit flavours coming through on the back end. You're also greeted with lovely, almost like fresh baked baguette, doughy kind of malty flavours to balance off that bitterness. It's peppery and spicy too. What a beer from Top Out Brewery. Right, um, First Ascent by Top Out Brewery features a range of experimental and limited edition brews. This double IPA is dry hop with Equinox, Cryo and Simcoe T90. Hops for a punchy hop profile balanced by the strong malt base. And all of the, what I like about so, so I'm guessing a first ascent for these guys would be the first time because they're mountain climbers at the same time. They love to do a bit of climbing. This is probably the first time they've kind of climbed this particular. There's the, the terrain of the land. That's what all of their beers are based on. This is probably the first time they've, they've attempted this, this, this climb, which again, I find really, really interesting. If... You're online, which you probably are because you're watching this video. <laughs> order their beer from Top Out Brewery. Check out their website, order their beer. It's very, very good. Um, they do a, a good kind of mix of classic, I would say, ales if you want that. They also have got this experimental range, their first ascent range, which is very, very good. Um, they're based in Edinburgh in the UK, so if you're in the Edinburgh region, I, I totally suggest visiting their brewery and buying some of their beer fresh at the brewery. That's always the kind of, for me, the best source of buying beer. You might catch somebody at the brewery, you might have a good chat with them. Uh, Michael's a great guy. Hi, Michael. But I'm ready to rate this wonderful, wonderful double IPA. Yeah, I like it. I like that. I like that enough to give it 
A Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!